Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. This will go from February 16th through the 22nd. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. All right. So, Gemini. All right. Uh, Gemini, you might want, to, so it could go either way. Someone wants to return to you, could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you want to return to someone else. Now, it could be a water sign, it could be anybody. Yeah, we, we have pretty much all signs here. Um, you, you're needing to muster up the courage the strength to either forgive and and move on and move along with the relationship or someone else is needing to do that someone you or the other person doesn't look at each other in the best light because there might have been some cheating some unfaithfulness in a relationship and now the choice to either go back to or allow the person to come back to you. It's confusing. There's still love here and likeness here. Some of you were blindsided in regards to feeling like you, you had it all. The house, the husband, the children, the dog, the everything. And then you were blindsided by the unfaithfulness, someone keeping options open. And, and then it, it sent you on a journey of maybe trying to walk away, self-discovery, um, feeling like you were putting in so much energy, effort, time, and work to not really have your Ten of Cups. Some of you were acting happy also maybe with the Sagittarius or Pisces because things are were good or are good if you're still there but you're not happy you're not fulfilled you feel like you put in so much energy effort time and this person doesn't reciprocate or it's just not enough it says that in divine time and wait for a perfect timing that luck is on your side with the will of fortune Something is written in the stars to happen or to come about. You don't know if you still want the marriage. You don't know if, if someone will, will allow you back or if you should allow someone else to come back. Within a certain dynamic, it could be a marriage or just, or just a relationship. You're unfulfilled and you're thinking of walking away. Or someone else has walked away from you, Gemini. The advice for you this week is to, you want to speak to somebody, you want to come back, you want to rebuild. You know that it's going to be a challenging new start for you guys because you have to, you know, comb through the issues and work through it. But you still want it and you're not sure if they still want it, whatever it may be with you. But the advice is to release this you may be doing a lot in this relationship like some of you are carrying the relationship completely i mean from you know household stuff to children if there are children involved to just everything you're really carrying the relationship all by yourself uh that's for some of you um and then some of you it's just that you want to return to someone because your happiness is with them or was with them and you you're carrying this this burden of how you feel for this person because you have not told them you're not sure if they will accept you back somebody doesn't look at you or vice versa you don't look at another person in the best light like you just don't you just there's harsh judgment here and it, it could be unfounded it could be um 
It could be warranted. But there's harsh judgment and unforgiveness. And someone wants those things to be eradicated. Like, let's start over. Someone really, your advice this week is to release the burden. Release the cracking is what I heard. Mm -hmm. Um, some of you need to speak to your partner about how you feel, how you're taking on all of the weight of this relationship, how you feel like you're, you're just carrying this relationship forward, right? Um, in that, you might get your wishes fulfilled. It says make a wish. It can very well come true. Or, or you could just get back the love of your life of your life or love for life come back to you because some of you feel so depleted and burdened you could definitely be dealing with a Piscean person it's about trying to get a sit someone in a dynamic to see your perspective or to see things from a different perspective some of you are contemplating divorce or doing whatever it is you need to do in order for you to have balance, peace, serenity in your life, to have fairness. Some of you are saying to your partner, this is unfair. Um, you want this person to make permanent changes or you're saying I'm going to make permanent changes in regards to me and what's best for me that is the advice for you this week speak your truth your peace you might get an apology you might get someone looking at something from a different perspective but more than more than you know more than that you're no longer just going along to get along or just doing it whatever it may be whether it's like rearing the children all by yourself taking care of the home uh paying all the bills i don't know some of you is carrying a relationship it's you saying let's do this or let's do that or we'll go here or we'll do this or we'll do that and x y z and Right, because some of you just are unhappy. Like you're delaying your gratification. Like if I if I keep continuing to do all of this stuff, they'll see my dedication, my worth. But no, they've just gotten used to you doing it all. Are you being, yeah, you doing it all, you being the... I don't know. Some of you just need to speak. Some of you want to speak to someone. You're not sure if it's going to be well received. You want to come out of isolation with someone. You feel like you have grown. You've changed. You've matured. You're ready to be whatever this person wants you to be. Or what they wanted you to be. You were not or vice versa. This is how someone feels about you. They want to speak to you and tell you I'm better. I'm more mature. I'm this and that. I, I've seen the error of my ways. Or, you know all of those things. It's a mixed bag here. Some of you are pregnant. The other person doesn't want the pregnancy. They've either told you this. Or if they, if they have not told you, they've shown you in their actions. This person could be committed. Like in a commitment, a committed relationship. They want you to be fair. And saying that they want you to not have a baby. Let's see what the shells have for us. Oh, you got four. Spiritual. Okay. Jealousy. Closure. And open. Okay. So some of you are wondering if someone will be open to you returning or or vice versa. Someone wants to know if you'll be open to them returning. For some of you, it's 
you, you're going to get closure. Maybe you, you, you're you not going to get exactly what you want in re saying how you feel to a particular person. But at least you'll have a sense of closure. You'll know that either it's over or we're, we're starting to making a new beginning, starting a new beginning. Some, some of you, jealousy came out. Some of you could be jealous of... I don't see that here. If you're the other person, then you're jealous of, of course, the the main woman or man, the person that they're committed to. Some of you just want more meaning in your life. You felt like with a particular person or on a particular path, it was spiritual. It, it felt right. It had meaning. Some of you have gone out and kind of sold your wild oats, if you will. And um, you just aren't finding a lot of uh, meaning or zest for life here. It's just like you're just doing things with other people and not having an actual feeling like you are accomplishing or you're building toward. You're just you know it could be just casual sex or casual partners or casual dates or or, or just getting to know a whole bunch of people but um, not feeling any real connection some of you feel that and there's a person a particular person you want to return to or they want to return, return to you who um, you felt a spiritual connection to or they there's an air of spirituality with them uh, Gemini, if you feel like this reading resonated with you, go over to the website, book your own reading there, or uh, and also take advantage of the coupon codes below. Or if you have a question or two, you can always text your question to the number below. Uh, do keep in mind it is a business line, so there are business hours. Um, but in texting a question, you can receive the answer to your question, pay for your question, all on your mobile device. Take advantage of that if that is attractive to you. It just makes me more accessible to you and you accessible to me. Uh, Gemini, stay in prayer. Know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care.